story time. There are a number of changes that are going to be taking place soon and I want to tell you a little bit about the story behind that so you see why I'm going where I'm going. I have always expected that at some level I'm going to be traditionally published. That means finding an agent, having an agent work with a publisher and me to get things published and sent out to the world. Recently I asked my writing group, so there's a, a bunch of pals across the world who work with the same genres I do, speculative fiction, all the fantasy and sci-fi and the genres that mesh with the two. I posed a question to them. I said, look, here's what I want to do. I have a ton of different series that I have written my first drafts for, um, and I'm going to be um, polishing them for publication, and I'm hoping to be traditionally published, but I'm a little concerned about this direction I'm going because I am planning for each one of those series to be part of a larger universe with a lot of crossover. So you'll see a character from series A show up in series B. And it's very important to the overall structure of my universe because a lot of those crossover characters, I'm gonna pull into an entire crossover series involving characters from all these different other series. And I'm gonna put them together. So you're gonna have, you know, the star-faring dude from the space opera with the, you know, magician enchantress from the epic sword and sorcery fantasy. And you're gonna put them all together in this world hopping adventure where they're fighting off like the overarching really bad guys who have been kind of behind the scenes pulling the strings of the lesser bad guys in each series all along. So it's like this big crossover idea and I'm like, okay, this is a really cool idea, but how am I gonna do this? logistically, legally in the publishing world. Because a lot of the things that happens is an author working with an agent, the agent will take a look at a sci-fi story and say, well, hey, this will be a really good story for um, this particular publishing house that is looking for sci-fi at this moment. So they'll shop it out and if it gets picked up, cool. And then, you know, me being an author and liking to do many different things, I'm like, oh, here's a fantasy, fantasy series. And my agent would look at that and go, oh, okay, I know a publisher over here who's doing fantasy. And it could be different publishers publishing different series because it makes sense, right? They're specializing in certain niche areas. That can get really, really messy because publishers, you know, understandably, don't necessarily want to share intellectual property. And publishers own certain rights. I give them certain rights when I sign contracts with them. Essentially, you end up, my husband explained, he was like, oh, it's like the whole Spider-Man universe thing going on right now where nobody's quite sure who owns what and Marvel's fighting with somebody else over who owns the rights to Spider-Man. Everybody is a little bit confused and there's other things going on. I think, was it the Tom Clancy novels? Nobody's sure who owns the rights there because different th different publishers and different companies own different parts of the whole Tom Clancy novel dealy. So that is what I was afraid of getting into. And so I talked with my writer friends about that. And I'm like, okay, so, you know, logistically, how does this work? And most of the writers who came back to me, and especially the ones who worked in the industry as editors and publishers, they're like, you know, you might be a really perfect candidate for just self-publishing because you get to keep all the rights and you get to control all your characters and all the crossover aspects that have to come together for your big crossover series. And I realized there was a lot of wisdom in that as they were explaining like, okay, legally, this is what could happen. You know, here's a scenario. And basically the scenario would bar me from doing what I want to do with all this crossover. That made me go, whoa, okay. So I had to step back and think, all right, well, I can't traditionally publish the way I wanted to because my vision won't fit that. This is what it means to be a published author. You do all the work. You find all the people and you pay all the people to do the things you can't do, like designing a professional cover, like doing a professional um, developmental edit. And then you put together everything as far as selling and visibility and marketing. And right now where I am at, I have been on 
the internet since 2011 when I started my hilarious little blog back when I had no idea what I was doing. And it's been a delightful journey. I've loved it. I've loved meeting people um, who are both readers and writers of the same fiction that I am a huge fan of. And I have loved developing my skills and learning new things and keeping up with the industry and the market as it changes rapidly. As much as that is a lot of fun, and as much as I enjoy that aspect, it is a ton of work. It's taking energy that I need to allocate wisely. So here's the situation. At the time that I started a lot of these efforts, I was either a single woman or I was a young wife with no kids. Now I have a daughter and she's eight months old, the light of my life, and she requires a lot of uh, supervision <laughs> and a lot of mommy's time and energy. And it's right for her to do so. She's my daughter. She's only gonna be this young once and I wanna be a really good mom. So I'm looking at this realizing that I have so many parts of my life that I need to balance better now. I have my writing, which is so core to my identity and my, my life mission. And then I have my daughter, which, and my husband, let's be honest, he deserves some attention as well. So taking a look at all those things and realizing that me looking now at being a self-published author for the entirety of my uh, writing career, I'm realizing that I need to take a step back and pretty much work my strategy over from the ground up. So what does this mean for now? What this means is that I am looking at kind of going going dark, if you want to put it that way, where I'm going to pull back from a lot of my visible online efforts and take a look at my writing and where it's going and take a look at my marketing strategy, my online social media Patreon marketing strategy. Basically what I'm going to do is focus on the actual writing of the books. Actually most of them are written, they just need to be um, revised. So this means I'm at a transitional stage and I'm not exactly sure what's happening with Patreon right now. I know that I want to continue to give you valuable content and I want to continue giving you exclusive behind the scenes sneak peeks at what I am doing. I have to be upfront with you when I say that publication will take a while. Because I need to do a number of crossovers and because I have to do it all myself as a self-published author and because I want to do that well, it's going to take time. One of the things that an author friend recommended to me is she said, get as many of these books done as you can, manuscript hoard is the term that she used. And she said, look, one of the things you may have to do is kind of go back to some of the earlier works and say like, okay, this crossover has to work this particular way, but I had a detail earlier in uh, a different story that needs to get changed if it's going to work properly. So she said, write as many of those books as you can, then cross reference with all of them to make sure that there's consistency and that it's heading in the right direction which means basically that I'm doing a publishing hold. It means I am writing, 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 writing. And then when I've got quite a bit of a backlog, I rapid release. That's a common thing that people do, particularly self-published authors do, in order to kind of keep the momentum rolling. You will write an entire series behind the scenes and then you publish one after the other um, within about you know a couple months of each other or maybe six months of each other instead of several years apart like more traditional authors do. It's a really cool idea, but it does mean you have to have all your ducks in a row ahead of time. That makes sense to me, but it also means that I am not really publishing. It basically means that my publication dates get pushed further off into the future. It means that anybody who is following me currently and who's getting those behind the scenes, they're getting behind the scenes on stories that are not going to be published for a while. And I'm talking years. Um, I don't know how many years, and I'm certainly working very hard on making sure that this all happens. So what does that mean for you? That means you're still going to get behind the scenes. You're still going to get excerpts and different fun things like that, but you're not going to be able to see a published work for a while. If you want to continue supporting me, every bit of your support goes straight into account that I'm going to use for editing and 
cover design and book layout design. So you are directly contributing to all of these books actually making it out into the world, actually making it onto your shelf, actually becoming a reality. Yes, sweetie, mommy is talking to a camera. Is that exciting or what? Um, <laughs> but if you decide after contemplation that you want to take a step back as well, what I would strongly encourage you to do is sign up. If you're not already signed up for my email list, I would sign up for it. It's free. And when I do start publishing, when those books do start rolling out, you will be in the know. And so I would strongly encourage you to sign up for that just so you can stay in touch. And once I have figured out what this whole restructuring looks like as far as how I share with you all that's going on behind the scenes, because trust me, there's still a lot going on behind the scenes, just in a new balanced way that works with my growing family, I will let you know. So I am grateful for all of your support so far. I'm grateful for you being on this journey with me in the future, whether it's by my email list or by continuing to support me on Patreon. Thank you for sticking with me thus far for this very long, detailed update. Mm -hmm.